Hello, welcome to Yoga with Rachel. I'm Rachel, thank you for joining me today for a myofascial release. So myofascial release works with different props and we get into releasing the fascia. So fascia is the interconnected tissues and muscles that can make us feel quite tense or tight in the body. So though at times it might be really nice to go and treat yourself to have a massage, which is something I'd love to do, which um, if I could, I'd probably try and do every day, but obviously that might not be realistic. So we wanna see how we can use different props to help us get that release. So it could be something as simple as maybe you've woken up and realized that your neck and your shoulders feel a little bit tight, so maybe you've just slept funny, um, you might have um, gone for a long walk and then the, the muscles in the, the calf muscles, the hamstrings, the back of the thighs might feel really, really tight and it's finding that release. So these are three of my favorite props to use. Uh, the first one is a tennis ball. Really, really easy because you just get that little bit of pressure with um, when you place the, the tennis ball, say on the muscles, particularly around the shoulders, is really, really nice. Uh, you then have the lovely spiky balls, so a little bit like acupressure, so it just creates a little bit more pressure as it pushes down into the, the muscles. And then you have foam rolling, so you can get a couple of different ones, there really, uh, it really depends on which you'd like to use. This one's a little bit like the spiky ball, as you can see it's got all these weird sort of lumps and bumps on it. Some of the um, foam rollers are actually a little bit like the, the pool noodles or the wobbles, so they're quite flat, but they work in the same way that the tennis ball does. So it just creates a little bit of um, pressure that you can use to roll over onto the muscles. So with my, if my quads and my hamstrings are feeling quite tight, then I quite like to use the foam roller, almost like a rolling pin, and just gently roll that over the top of the legs. If it's really tight, it can almost feel like you're um, popping a bubble wrap underneath the, the skin. Some people might feel that it makes them feel a little bit queasy, it depends on how you feel um, with body functions. But as long as it doesn't hurt and you're not putting any pressure on it, it's a little bit like going for a sports massage. And then you might place it underneath the, the leg and then gently roll. So it allows the prop to do the work for you. So you can just gently roll the prop over or underneath that sort of part of the body. So again, spiky ball works in the same sort of way. So we could gently roll that around on the muscles that feel quite tight. And again, sort of onto the thigh. Or using the tennis ball. So this one's really nice. So you could sort of roll it sort of up and down onto the muscles. But one of my favorite ways to use is not only is this just to gently massage into the, the calf muscle or onto the hamstrings or the quads or the hip flexors when they feel tight, but from really getting into the shoulders. So it's quite hard to really get into the shoulders if they're feeling tight. So we might be able to gently get, say, the top of the shoulders, but sometimes if you feel quite tight in the actual sort of lower part of the shoulder blades, one way that you can do this is actually have the tennis ball or the spiky ball or even the foam roller, depending on how much pressure you want to sort of to use. Just come down to lying on the ball and have that little roll around. Or you could even, if it's comfortable, come all the way down to lying and just place, you know, roll the ball into the foam roller, whichever prop you're using, and just sort of lie as so you're gently pushing a little bit of pressure. It's so almost like when you go for a massage and they can, uh, that the therapist can really feel there's a knot, and you might be aware that they're just gently pushing their thumb or their elbow into that point, it just helps it to create a little bit of pressure. And then when it releases, it just allows all that uh, blood to get back into the muscles and the tissues, just to give them that new sort of lease of life and that can help to release them. So you don't have to do this for too long. It can feel a little bit weird or uncomfortable. But just be mindful, listen to how your body wants to move so you can get that sort of pressure to help release any tension that might be sitting in the neck or the shoulders. Really nice, like I said, onto the thigh, so in the hip flexors, into the quads, 
into the hamstrings so you can just gently roll the prop around it just gives that nice little pressure almost reminds me of when you go if you have ever had a hot stove massage because you've got that little extra pressure obviously you haven't got the heat from these but just gives that little extra pressure to get deeper down into the muscles quite a nice one when you use this one on the thighs as well because you can then roll it onto the arms so lots of ways that if you're feeling that sort of bit of tension so like i said if you've gone for a long walk if you've done a quite a challenging uh, yoga sequence and you can feel that tension in the shoulders or you've just slept funny and feel like you need to just gently get that release tennis ball can be the best thing that you can work with or the spiky balls or foam rollers. Um, I'll put a link in the comments below to the ones that um, I recommend uh, or that I do use through my um, Amazon page. So you can get those as well, but you can pretty much get these anywhere. It doesn't have to be anything special, so it doesn't have to be a particular yoga prop. You know, tennis ball is probably the one I really go to the most and then um, I end up losing them to the dogs. Um, but <laughs> I'll just go out and buy some more. So let me know in the comments how you get on and yeah, I shall see you next week. Enjoy and namaste.